everyone, welcome to the first Advancing 101. In this series, we'll give you quick tutorials and some tips and tricks to improve your digital presence as an individual or business. In this occasion, I'll show you how to create and set up your Facebook cover and profile in Canva. Canva is a free web application which allows you to make graphics for social media and mainly using web. It is one of the best free graphic applications out there, and they're also available for other devices. Now, let's start using Canva. First, as you can see, this is the login sign up section of Canva, and I'm going to log in. I'm going to be logging in with my Google account. Here is the opening screen of Canva, where you'll find a series of pre-made templates for presentation, poster, Facebook cover, Facebook post, Instagram post, A4 document, card, email address, and more. In this occasion, I'll show you how to make a Facebook cover and a profile. So let's start with the cover. Click on cover. Now, this is your blank canvas in Canva. In this white rectangle, you'll be putting all your graphics, text, photos, etc. To your left, you'll find your toolbar. Layouts. Here you'll find pre-made layouts. Feel free to choose any of your liking as long as they are free. Elements. Here you'll find most of the elements you could need in your graphic. From free photos, grids, which applies to the whole canvas, frames, which applies to a picture in your Canva, that is the main difference between grids and frames. Grids apply to the whole, to the whole canvas and frames are just a, uh, an image on top of it. I'm going to delete this for the time being. Text, and here you'll find templates for text, titles and content and you can add whichever you like and modify it afterwards. Backgrounds. Here you can pick a background for your Canva, either a solid color, a pattern, etc. And uploads. Here you'll find your uploaded content, the one that you already purchased, or your Facebook images if you already linked your account. So let's start by doing one from zero. The first thing that I need is a background. However, I don't want any of these um, pre-made templates or so. I want one custom made. So as you can see here in uploads, I already uploaded some of the uh, uh, some images that I can use. To just upload one of your images is really easy. Just click on upload your own images, find your file. and click open, it will upload up automatically. Although I can just click and drag it here, here's a problem, because as you can see, my image is not modified or is not exactly in the same size of the Facebook cover. For that, I'm gonna delete this for now, for that, we're going to go to Elements and Grids. I'm going to click on the full one. And afterwards, I'm going to go back to Uploads, grab my image, and drag it on top of it. It will, it will be arranged automatically. Now I want to have some text. I'm going to go to the Text Toolbar. And I'm going to pick this one. As you can see, it automatically put it in, puts it in the Canva. I'm going to resize it. I'm going to drag, click and drag one of these corners. And put it in the middle. However, I don't want it to be black. I want it in a white font. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do to change it is just click on it. Click and drag to select all of it. Go here, 
where you can find the color of the font and change it here and I can do the same for the subtext subtitle sorry now it's it lo it's looking good however I think I need something else I'm gonna go back to elements and add some shapes I think a circle will be good. However, it's a, the circle uh, kind of uh, it's kind of lost in the background, so I'm gonna change its color. Now, as you can see, my circle it's on top of the of the text, and I don't want it. To correct it, I'm gonna select my circle, go to Arrange, and click on Back. What this will do is it'll, it'll arrange the elements as in it was in layers. I just told Canva to put the text on top of it. I'm gonna resize it a little bit and center it. There we go. Also, we can change the opacity. Here, when you click on the circle, here in the top right, you can see this kind of a checker box that goes that fades into white, and it says transparency. I can just play with this a little; it will turn transparent, from zero being completely transparent and 100 being completely solid. So I want it around here. I think that's good. Now I'm gonna add some icons. Just gonna find one that kind of works with it. Something a little less. How about these leaves? However, they're still too big, so I'm gonna resize them. Put it around here. Just as an accent. And I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna put them uh, white. And I'm gonna change the transparency too like a little accent color over there so it won't be so lonely this section and I want to add another text for that I go back to text so I'm gonna add another text but this time I'm not gonna be using one from the templates I'm gonna be adding uh, the one that here says here add a little bit of body text and here as you can see it just put it right there in the middle I'm gonna add some content um, some placeholder content for the time being. I'm gonna copy paste it just so it'll be a little bit more content and I'm gonna place it over here but not at this size and not at this color. So what I'm gonna do is select it all and select the color and the size and let's change the font why not as you can see Canva has an already loaded library of fonts you can pick whichever you think works for it I think I will go with this one for the time being I'm just gonna put it around here. I'm gonna change the position of the lips too. I'm gonna put it in this area and I'm gonna make it even more transparent. So it'll be just like a subtle hint. So that's how you make a Facebook cover from zero. The only thing that'll be left to do is to download it or share it. To do that you can just click download and you can uh, select your file type. We, I would recommend PNG since this is for website and for, for web graphics. And just click download and it will start downloading. You can even post it, tweet it or email it. 
but let's say that you don't want to start from zero and you want one from the layouts. That's okay too. Let's start a new one. And as you can see, you have your templates over here and the projects that you previously worked on over here. But let's start a new one, also a Facebook cover. Now, let's go to layouts. Oh, we're already here. And you can pick one that works with you. Let's say, hmm. how about, yeah, Fresh Harvest Market. <laughs> Let's just say that you want this layout, but you don't want it to be about fruits or Fresh Harvest Market. You can, uh, you can select your layout and you can edit it out the same way that we did with the other one. You can just click on it on the text. Oh, you can move it and you can change it. For any text that you like. And also you can still add some things for it. For instance, you can add an icon and this one does not particularly work for here or this one, but <laughs> I just wanted to exemplify. Maybe what would work here is a line. Here, I'm going to add a line, but I'm going to change its color. I'm going to go to color and also I want to rotate it here. These ones work for this kind of, uh, dots work for resizing. However, this one then on the bottom, as you can see, it's a rotating line. That's why it works for rotation. And just gonna add it something about here to make a division here. Here, I like it, and I want another one. So I'm, I will click Command C, Command U B, or in Windows Control C, Control V. And just gonna place it over here so it'll be a division and let's say that you want to change the the images of this you can also do it let's say that you want uh, let's take one of the free photos whichever it doesn't matter right now let's say this one you can just grab it and drag it here as you can see it will replace it it will replace the photo of whichever you hover on top of let's say this one mm, maybe this one oh if you put a, if you click on it it will put it just on top of it however to put it inside the grid you can just either grab it from what you already put it on top of canvas and put it there or you can just grab it from here and put it on top of it there you go also that works for uploaded photos just say this one. There you go. Yeah, that's this is not precisely the most appealing one, <laughs> but this is just for the for example. You know what? Let's do it a little bit better. I'm gonna grab some free photos. Let's just say something about the lines of coffee, blueberries, and something else. You know what? I'm going to search for coffee. Here on top of each of your toolbar, you have a search box and you can just click on whatever you want. I mean, you can click on it and you can type whatever you want and you'll find it. For instance, here I put coffee and I put it either in photos and illustrations and you can see that I have illustrations of coffee and photos of coffee. Some of them are just exclusive for the pro version and you need to pay for it, but some of them are free. For instance, this one. Oh, this one works perfectly. Mm, and also this one. There you go. Now what I would do is to change 
the color of this text so it can match a little bit. No, let's go for orange. And also you can you can just pick another color from the color wheel. It doesn't have to be right there. There we go. Let's just change this. And there you have it. That's how you make a, a Facebook cover photo. I'm gonna download this. Preparing the your design. It's downloading. And there you have it. Now, let's go and make the uh, Facebook profile picture. I'm gonna go back to the start section of Canva and gonna click on more. On more, you can see all the all the other templates that are available for you. Either social media posts, documents, blogging and ebooks, marketing materials, etc. etc. However, what I might what I'm interested in is to have one of custom dimensions. As you can see, we don't have that here, but we have it here on the top right corner. Use custom dimensions. And when I'm, what I'm gonna put is the dimensions of a Facebook profile picture. And as you can see, a Facebook profile picture is usually from 360 by 360 pixels or at most, or 180 for 180. So I'm gonna go for 360 and 360 pixels design. Now, since we're making a custom-made dimensions Canva, we don't have exactly a lot of layouts from you can pick up, I mean, pre-made layouts, but it's pretty much the same. For instance, I'm gonna be putting here a background picture, so I'm gonna be creating with this layout. I'm gonna go to uploads, gonna select my image, put it here, drag it here, there we go. And I'm gonna put my logo. There, there you go, download it. So, before I go, there's a couple of things that I need you to know uh, to define your Facebook cover and profile picture. One of the main recommendations is that your profile and cover picture are in sync. That means that they follow the same branding, colors, typography, and so. Put on some simple words, make sure that the font, the colors, and so on, both in your profile and, and cover are the same ones. And that being said about the profile picture, the profile picture is meant to be an image to help users being identified when posting comments, likes, and so and so. So our suggestion is to keep the profile picture as simple as it can, a logo or an image. Try to use as little text as possible since it may turn so little that no one might be able to read it. Now about the cover. You can basically do whatever you want. Colors, fonts, promotions, quotes, as long as it stays in line with your branding. Our suggestion is that if you're going to put promotions in it, you will have to change it constantly. Since you get a lot of people to watch it, it is a great promotional tool, but it might be risky since if you forget to take it off, once the promotion is done, you might get a, a lot of angry customers accusing you of false advertisement. And if you'll use an image and or quote, make sure it goes in line with your branding and change it every once in a while. Every six months, every year, it depends on any major changes you wish to make, events or so. Don't change it too often or wait too long. And that's it for this occasion. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to keep up when we upload a new Advancio 101. My name is Mario Navarro and I'll see you in the next time. Bye!